Hey, what up, though? Ghost of Poe checking in. You already know where you at and what I do. Let's make it do what it do real quick, yo. Man, how many people got to vouch for me before you see I'm really that, man? Mr. Monk, motherfucking Glaze, even though he, anyway, anyway. You know what I'm saying? I'm really that, nigga. The streets of vouch. The east of vouch. The D of vouch. Motherfucker Miss T of vouch. Or if you didn't know, poor vouch too, nigga. You know, every time, it's like I'm your attorney. Every time anybody say something about you, they send it to me. <laughs> I love it. I, I love it. I love my rep I love my representation. I love it. Word. <laughs> you heard the goat heads. You heard what I said to him. I say anytime somebody say something about you, they send it to me. And he said, I love it. I love my representation. Well, they sent me something about Gene Dale. They sent me something about Gene Dale. But before we get into that, we're gonna get into this. One time for Morgan, line, one time for Maurice, line. That's why you about to see that family tree. In the middle of your motherfucking screen, because you already know. It's a family affair, man. So get here. Yo, the time is now, man. The Morgan Maurice Collection is the brand of the future, man. Handcrafted one by one in Italy. You heard me? We got the commencement, them joints 194. We got the D-Boy 1 in white. That's 237. We got the D-Boy 2 in black. That's 217. Get yours, man. Go ahead and shop now, man. The finest Italian leather, the finest Italian suede and cotton you can get made right in Shoe Valley. I came front, man. These right here, I done had these on my feet all oh, year. These my favorite. That black on black crocodile print. Man, Morgan Maurice is the future. It is the brand of right now get with us man or get left out peace you heard me man get with us or get left out peace <laughs> but let me let me let me take let me take the time to do this though shout out to mentalek um shout out to sassy sabrina shout out to everybody over at buy me a coffee shout out to my guys at at to the moon dot high on instagram you know what i'm saying shout out to all the supporters shout out to the purple heart gang and everybody else man now let's get into this content, man. You highs me. That was clearly the wrong content. <laughs> let's go. Right, 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 right. I got you. I got you. I love it. Hey, what's going on? What you need? What you need? What you need for me right now? Um, do me something like. Can you say like like? Yo, uh, this is Alpo. And I'm tapped in with, oh no, I'm tapped in with Up For Debate TV, just something like, like, like that, nothing big. You know? okay, that's, yeah. Whatever, I'm just asking you what you want me to say. It's Alpo, and I'm tapped in with my main man, yes, Up sir. For Debate TV. Yes, sir. Oh, that's not, that's, that's, that's easy and it's true. Go ahead, let's go. All right, go ahead, whenever you're ready. All right. All right, all right. So this is Alpo. And I'm tapped in with my main man up for the big TV all day. I fuck with him. Yes, sir. I appreciate you for that one. Yeah. We good? Yes, sir. All day, all day love. All right, Detroit. Just hit me. It really hurt me when they killed Stan. Nobody knew who to shoot. We ain't even have a plan. He sold me my first gun. He held my first son. If I was with him shooting it out, bitch, we the one. I shed tears for my niggas who ain't here. They tattooed and spit that real shit to remember him, bitch. I'm that dude. Catch a op and spit on his baby daughter. I'm that rule. Right at three o'clock, as soon as he get out of school. You killed my dude. I don't give a fuck about you. I hope somebody killed you in case I never found you. And yeah, they know I'm bound to and I put that on I move. And when I saw Tawana start crying, shit, I cried too. Cause then I knew it was real, that was your boo. And I ain't fuck with them other niggas, but they cried too. I wore black like a whole 30 days. I slept in niggas' bushes, I fed niggas' caves. Ask Satan for the power and the rage to kill the right nigga. Shot up a couple houses, a couple twice, nigga. Supposed to been at your wedding, with you threw some rice, nigga. But now it's snake eyes, like I threw some dice, nigga. I lost you. How the fuck I'm supposed to take this shit without a real target? How I'm supposed to take this hit now everybody get lit it's a green light i sent a couple cowards to you blood take they ass to life god i hope i killed you nigga and if i didn't know it still do nigga yeah you took my right hand man you took my nigga five now everybody had a problem with these homicides bitch i don't care if you did it or not you gotta die i know my nigga he with me he riding from the spot now i'ma let this mad hit you and rip through your bone tissue bitch and if you still breathing you know i'm still coming get you nigga 
tryna set me up and he don't think a nigga know it Animosity show it through his words how he spoke it Steady asking where I'm at, he tryna send him hit a smoking Bitch nigga, I hit niggas for that same motherfucker When niggas needed a friend, I treated them like a brother When niggas was on your ass, bitch I had your back covered Then the envy kicked in, jealous coward motherfucker This loyalty over envy, LOE to my death Alright, what up though? Let's talk about Gene Dell, man. Listen, over the past few weeks, Gene Dell has become one of my least favorite YouTube talking heads. Not that he was ever a favorite, he's just become one of my least favorite. With the type of rhetoric he spew in these interviews, man. I just don't like it, you know what I'm saying? That being said, somebody sent me a clip from the Art of Dialogue that was released uh, July 24th, 2022, I believe it was. <clears throat> Wherein, Gene Dill confirms that Alpo was dating Diddy's baby mother, Misa. You know what I'm saying? Now, that was a whole, a whole thing in itself. You know what I'm saying? For him to be throwing out confirmations and this and that and the other. But when asked about it, Gene responded, that was his girl, man. I don't give a fuck who he was fucking. He told me, that's his girl. He goes on to say, a couple weeks before Al died, Al said to me, yo, Gene, I'm trying to get you and Misa back together. She really cared for you, Gene. She's just upset because you didn't say that Justin wasn't Puff's son, but you, because you didn't say that Justin wasn't Puff's son, but you didn't intervene and make it clear that, that, that Puff was his father. Now, here's the funny shit right here that I don't like. He says, I was like, yo L, I don't know, I wasn't there when I went, he said, yo L, I wasn't there when they was fucking, so I wouldn't know, bruh, man, that's cap, that's cap and sauce, man, see, when you say shit like that, it makes it hard for the public, at least the ones that know a little something, to believe that that conversation even happened, man, you feel me, either that's cap, or you saucing up what was said and how you said it, because I do not believe that you would dare talk to Poe in such a vulgar manner, especially about a woman that he's dating. I mean, so explicitly about her sexual escapades. That don't make sense. I can hear Poe right now saying, yo, Gene, you really disrespecting me right now, dog. You need to calm down. You feel me? Like, for real, homie, don't sauce it up for the art of dialogue. Don't sauce it up for the public. Say what you said if you said anything, because some of us don't believe this conversation happened in the first place. Now, that being said, why is Gene being such a messy male bitch right now? You know what I'm saying? Messy bitch nigga, I don't know, whatever you want to call it, man. That's just the way I feel about the situation. It's no disrespect intended, even though it's disrespectful. It's just what it is. Why is he being like that? Why is he so messy as the young woman on uh, Married to Medicine would call quad or whatnot? You know what I'm saying? Why is she being so messy like that, dog? All in the next woman's condom and everything else trying to figure out what she was doing. And then he says something like, uh, it's funny to me how your son can look like your best friend or your man's in them. That's funny to me. But I wouldn't put it, what he said, I wouldn't put it out there like that because Miss Jones told me not to. That's crazy. Because you just put it out there like that. So you broke your word to Miss Jones because when you insinuate that the boy is not Puff Daddy's and that the boy belongs to Wolf or his man's enough, you feel me? You putting the business out there. You just ain't saying it plain, but you saying it plain. Y'all understand what I'm getting at, man. Why is he being so messy? He might have started the rumor in the first place, mad at Puff. You never know. That's why Misa don't mess with him. You feel me? Straight up and down. He talking about he mad over two weeks pay. Nigga, cut it out. Anyway, check it out, yo. Um, let me get back to these notes. You feel me? Nah, nah. He says, funny to me, but I wouldn't put it out there like that. Have I insinuated? Yeah, but I wouldn't put it out there like that because Miss Jones told me not to. Like I said before, uh, you broke your word to Miss Jones, and when you insinuate, that she is, uh, 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 that the boy is not Puffs, and that the boy belongs to Wolf, or his man's in them, you making her, you insinuating that she was promiscuous, you basically calling her a whore, and that ain't cool, his man's in them, so you saying she was sleeping with all of his boys, and it could be any one of their sons, but the boy happens to resemble Wolf and not Puff, and you think 
that we're going to sit back and digest that and analyze, hey, this conversation really did happen with Poe. When you sit there and you say stuff like that, I don't understand it. You sat there and you said some goofy shit all in the same breath like she would really want to have a conversation with you. Like they would really want to take you out to dinner and eat and this and that and other so y'all could, could hash things out. When you're going on these public platforms with these big audiences and saying goofy shit like it's funny to me how your son could look like your best friend or your man's in there. And we again, we supposed to believe that you said any of this shit to Paul? Or that this conversation even happened in the real life. Because, you know, a lot happens in people's heads sometimes. Especially when ain't nobody else here to tell the difference. And it's only another side to that story. The other side to that story is Poe's. And we all know what happened with Poe. So, as far as I'm concerned, you doing what Poe told me niggas do. You yeasting up your story, dog. You yeasting up your story. Then he goes on to say, Misa didn't pay him for two weeks. And she ghosted him and wasn't taking his calls. And Al told him... Diddy was starving her. Diddy did her dirty and Poe wanted to see him. Now that's a that's a whole issue in itself because as I told y'all before, you know what I'm saying, my peoples in Maryland thought that Puffy sent that hit at, at Poe anyway. The, you know, the way the bullets went and everything, the preciseness of the hit and everything else, they thought it was a military hit and Puffy does have military trained security. Marines that watch him. You know what I'm saying? So that was funny that he would say that, but then again, who who did Al, as they call him, but who would who did Poe tell that he wanted to see Puffy? That's what I want to know. Who did Poe tell he wanted to see Puffy over Misa? And if that if it was that real and it was that tight, then I know goddamn well you didn't say the shit that you said you said to Poe. I wasn't there when they was fucking, bruh. I wouldn't know. Man, cut it out, nigga. You found a nicer way to say that. You said that a whole lot nicer than you putting on in your goddamn interview. You know what I'm saying? That's all I'm saying. You feel me? Misa didn't pay me two weeks. I ain't got no problem with it. Well, evidently you do because you trying to put business in the street that ain't got no business coming out of your mouth. You know what I'm saying? But in the end of the interview, I will say he did say something that a lot of people don't say. He said Al helped a lot of people become entrepreneurs and get their businesses off the ground. And we all knew that. But y'all tell me how y'all feel about this, man. You know what I'm saying? Jump in the comment box. That's all I got for y'all. The link is in the description. And I'm out. Till next time. Peace to the gods and earth. Salute.